Hello friends. So today we will discuss about Amazon EC2 instance. How we can create virtual server on Amazon cloud. I will create another video about advanced configuration and advanced concept of EC2 instance. So in this video we are going to discuss about EC2 concept and as well as I will explain what is AMI, Amazon machine image. And then we will discuss about machine types and pricing model of EC2 instance. So whenever you will create EC2 instance on Amazon cloud, there, there are different multiple available types of uh, machines that you can select from. And, and of course, there are multiple pricing model. So depending on your need, you can select the pricing model of, of that EC2 instance as well. And of course, we will do some hands-on after that. So mostly we will do accessing EC2 instance. We will install a web server on that EC2 virtual server. And, and, and of course, we will try to host a static web page so you can access it from internet. I assume that you have already gone through earlier videos where I explained about AWS uh, overall architecture and paradigm, how they are placing their infrastructure uh, worldwide. So definitely the outer perimeter is AWS cloud and then we have AWS region. And after that we, we can create a VPC that is a virtual private cloud for you only. And within that VPC, we have availability zone, right? Uh, AWS has created multiple availability zone within a particular region. So you can select your availability zone, but uh, of course it is up to you if you want to create EC2 instance on a single availability zone or multiple availability zone, uh, that is totally up to you. Every availability zone has its own subnet. So subnet actually cannot uh, extend beyond availability zone. So you have to create a subnet within the availability zone. And within that subnet, you can create your EC2 instance. And also, if you are planning to make your architecture highly available, definitely you can create a auto-scaling group uh, consisting of multiple EC2 instance across availability zones. And the major benefit is that if you create an auto scaling group, it can scale up and down based on your demand, based on your uses. You can easily configure uh, how it should scale up and scale down. So that is the overall visual representation of EC2 instance. Now what is AWS EC2, right? So it is full form is Elastic Compute Cloud. So that means ECC, 2C, that, that is uh, EC2. So Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud provides scalable computing capacity in the AWS cloud. This eliminates need of investing upfront in hardware. It helps to develop, deploy, and manage applications faster with less cost. So you can create as many as virtual servers, that means EC2 instances as you need. You can configure security, networking, and manage storage as well for that EC2 instance. EC2 instance, basically it is a virtual server hosted on AWS cloud. So Amazon EC2 enables you to scale up or down to handle changes in requirements. This reduces your need to focus traffic, right? So basically EC2 is a web service that provides secure, resizable compute capacity in the cloud. It is designed to make cloud computing easier. So, so highlights of EC2, uh, so I have just captured the major highlights for the EC2 instance. However, you can explore Amazon documentation to dig out more about what are the different features and other highlights of EC2 instance. So first, definitely pre-configured templates. Uh, there are pre-configured templates available, which is known as Amazon Machine Images, AMIs. So that is basically is a bundle of required packages along with the operating system. So AMI can be formed for the Linux operating system, Windows, Ubuntu, whatever you want. So there are multiple different type of AMIs available. I'll, I'll show you in, in hands-on session. From there, you can pick your AMI which uh, ideally, which includes all the required packages necessary. You can create your own AMI and, and publish it to the Amazon market so, so others can use it. So that is another interesting part. There are various configurations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking that you can configure for your EC2 instance. You can secure login information for your instances using key pairs. So there are public private key mechanism, you can use that. Even AWS IAM uh, has different role based facility. So where you can create users, assign roles, policy, etc. And associate it with EC2 instance. 
storage volumes are known as instance store volume so there is a temporary volume is assigned to a particular ec2 instance so by default it gets deleted whenever you terminate the ec2 instance but you can select whether you want to delete it on termination or not persistent storage volumes for your data using amazon elastic block storage known as amazon ebs volume so you can attach any number of amazon ebs volume that is the hard disk with the ec2 instance as you need you can create your own vpc where others will not have access to that vpc instance you have the full authority and you are the owner uh, so you can control the different configuration of the vpc you can uh, allow others to access it so that is up to you and within that vpc you can create ec2 instance and of course aws ec2 instance is pci dss compliant now let's talk about ec2 instance types there are multiple ec2 instance type like uh, aws has categorized in five different category so first one is general purpose so this type of ec2 instance you can use for the general purpose uh, it is named as t2 m3 m4 m5 etc so so there are different uh, configuration available for this each type you can explore and create your own ec2 as per your need the second type is compute optimized that means if your workload is computational heavy you can select this kind of ec2 type there are three different sub types c3 c4 c5 so there are different multiple uh, cpu capacity available for each uh, types third type is memory optimized so x1 e x1 r3 r4 if you need heavy memory and the faster memory to execute your uh, workload then you you might choose this this type fourth one accelerated computing so accelerated computing ec2 instance types can be used for any graphic intensive workload lastly storage optimized if your use case is mostly the storage related you you want high performance storage in that case you can select h1 i3 or d2 sub type storage optimized ec2 instance so i request you to visit aws amazon.com ec2 instance types so if you just visit that you will have better understanding what are the different type of ec2 instances available so next is ec2 pricing model so there are primarily four type of uh, ec2 pricing model so aws definitely comes up with a pay as you go model so whatever you use you will pay only for that consumption so firstly on demand so you just uh, demand it you will get a ec2 instance use it and pay for your uses that's all second category is spot so usually spot is cheaper than on demand you can set a limit for your expenditure let's say the on demand price cost you $100 let's assume so now let's say your budget is less than 100 let's say $80 so you can set your uh, limit and bid for the ec2 instance and you place your order with let's say $80 per hour cost right so it is kind of bid mechanism where everyone is bidding for it if you are bidding higher amount than others definitely you will get that spot instance the only glitch is if ec2 instance are not available and someone else is paying higher than your price price limit then aws will terminate your ec2 instance and assign that ec2 instance to someone else you have to make your architecture stateless so any given point of time you can restart your whole workload on a separate ec2 instance as well so next type is reserved category so in this category if you are certain about your consumption this will definitely save considerable billing cost so let's say assume that within one year or two year you have already calculated your consumption statistics now you have a fair understanding of how much you can consume based on that you can reserve the ec2 capacity and can select a contract with aws so aws will offer you the discount on that basis so usually this range from one year to three years contract and last type is dedicated host uh, aws offers a shared infrastructure right it is a shared hardware now if you want a dedicated hardware for your workload then you can request uh, aws to provide a dedicated host for you so aws will completely separate out your hardware and create your own vpc on top of that so so you will have a complete separate dedicated host for your cloud environment so these are the different uh, four type of ec2 pricing models okay that's it so let's uh, do some hands on then you will have better understanding okay guys so here i am at the aws dashboard so you can see there is a compute section under that compute section we have ec2 light shell elastic container service lambda batch and elastic beanstalk 
So these are the content compute uh, services that you can avail from the AWS catalog. For this video, we are going to create an EC2 instance. So let's click on EC2. Here uh, we have not created any EC2 instance so far, so that is uh, that is why it is empty. Now you can see a notice here: EC2 spot save up to 90% of on-demand prices. Right, right. However, uh, in this video, we are going to create a on-demand EC2 instances. But if you can plan your consumption correctly and build architecture in stateless fashion, then you can also create EC2 spot instances. So let's create an on-demand instance for now. So click on launch instance. So here uh, we have list of Amazon machine images. So you can see there are Amazon Linux, AMI, Red Hat, SUSE, Ubuntu server, and there are others as well, right? So there are a list of Amazon machine images available you can select from. So lastly, you have Ubuntu as well, version 14.04. Now, as I have mentioned that Amazon machine images is a packaged uh, operating system along with all the required so softwares. Like for example, Amazon Linux AMI, the already built in Python, Ruby, Perl, Java, etc. And also it includes Docker, PHP, MySQL, and AWS CLI. So I'm going to show you uh, with this Amazon Linux AMI. Uh, so let's select it. This screen lists down all the available machine types. So that is what uh, I was referring. Like there are different type of uh, machine types like general purpose, compute optimized, GPU compute, memory optimized, storage optimized, right? So for this demo, we are going to choose a free tier eligible machine types. So, so that is okay because uh, it will not charge me anything. But if you, from business standpoint, if you need, you can select any type of machine types based on your CPU, uh, memory, and instance storage requirement, right? So let's select general purpose T2 micro, then click next configuration. In this screen, we, we you can select different configuration values for this EC2 instance. So first one is number of instance. So we are going to create one. Purchase option, we can create request spot instance. So as I described before, however, we are going ahead with on-demand for now. Network, so we have a default VPC. I am selecting it uh, for now, but you can create your own VPC, a separate additional VPC, and you can select it from here. Subnet. So there is no preference, but if you want, you can select, uh, let's say in Mumbai region, we have two different uh, availability zone, 1A, 1B. So this is kind of, uh, when, as soon as you create an ECT instance, AWS will automatically assign a public IP. So you can you can access that ECT instance from your laptop as well. IAM role, so I'm not creating any IAM role for now. I'll show it in a, a other video. Shutdown behavior, let's stop it. You can terminate it also, but uh, let's uh, go ahead with all the default values for now. So there are other metrics as well, monitoring, tenancy, enable termination protection, etc. So I'm keeping all the default values for now. You, know, you can explore it uh, by yourself. Network interface, by default, it is using subnet network uh, interface. So that is okay. But you can, you, you can attach additional device as well. There are advanced details as well. Um, so I'm not going to discuss on that part uh, now. But you can write different scripts. So right after when the EC2 instance will be provisioned, it will execute all the scripts uh, which is written in here. It will act like a bootstrap script. So let's click on add storage. So by default, AWS provides you an instance storage, which is a root volume. You cannot encrypt it. Uh, the, the default encryption is not available for root volume. However, you can deselect the delete on termination uh, option. If you terminate the EC2 instance, it will not delete the associated root instance. But by default, it is selected. So if you terminate your EC2 instance, it will automatically delete the root uh, instance stored volume. You can add additional volume as well. So for now, I'm not uh, adding anything, but you can do that. So let's click on add tags. Add tags is very useful. Uh, let's assume uh, for the business user standpoint, you may have multiple EC2 instance. So just to identify uh, a, a specific group or set of EC2 instance, you can say name uh, for demo. Now I am using demo. So if I select uh, in my billing statistics, if I select demo EC2 instance, it will point me to this EC2 instance. So this is helpful. It is best practice that you should assign few tags, the relevant tags associated with the EC2 instance. So let's click on next configuration security group. Here you can create a security group that is kind of a, will act as your firewall. So for now, uh, there is one rule. I can access the EC2 instance using SSH. 
and we can add let's say http so i've just added a couple of more uh, rules like http and http s access to that ec2 instance so from public internet from your laptop you can access that ec2 instance i'm going to create a web server on this ec2 instance that should be accessible from internet so let's click on review and launch now i am creating a new security group but but if you have already created security group you can select any existing security group as well so if i select this one this gives me all the predefined rules associated with this security group so just for now i am uh, selecting create a new security group uh, it will be most likely uh, case for you as well so select this click on review and launch here you can review all of your settings and click on launch now as soon as you click on launch uh, it will ask for a key pair settings like using this key you will be able to access that ec2 instance from your laptop right so as i have already a security key so let's not choose that so create a new one and write a demo download the key pair so remember this is the only chance you can download the key pair so i suggest you always download the key pair and launch instance you can click here directly go to the ec2 dashboard page or otherwise you can click on view instance as well so this is now pending state however it takes 10 to 15 seconds to be on normal state so let's wait now it is in running state so our ec2 instance is launched and we can access it right away so now you see if we if i maximize this screen a bit so if you see in description section you have public dns and public ip so using this public ip you can access your ec2 instance right and there are other settings as well if you uh, if you see key pair name demo key so so i have already downloaded the demo key here right it is stored in my desktop so i will show you and we need it to access this uh, ec2 instance via ssh you can access this ec2 instance either via public ip or the dns name associated with that you can access it i'll show it uh, in in little while so let's try to access the ec2 instance via ssh so i am using git bash because it it by default it gives me the ssh so ssh so if i type ssh ec2 user at the that public ip hyphen i and then the the key uh, key path right now ec2 user is a username for the default username for this ec2 instance if you are if you are using the amazon ami then you, you you have to use ec2 user but for example if you if you want to use ubuntu ami then the username will be ubuntu so you can get all these usernames from the amazon uh, documentation itself or otherwise you can google it and quickly find it out so here i am so we are in the ec2 we have already logged into the ec2 instance so let's try to update the ec2 instance first so it is saying you need to be root so let's enhance the privilege so now i am using it as root so let's try yum update again so it is updated right now let's install httpd that is apache web server or nginx now i am using nginx because it is most widely accepted uh, in uh, web server and you can use it as load balancer or even waf right web, web application firewall it is accepted by the industry uh, worldwide so let me demonstrate uh, the web server using nginx so let's using yum install nginx y so it will accept so it is installed right so let me check what is the status of nginx nginx is stop right so let's start it it is saying it start right so let's try to access the server from the web browser so i have typed the public ip of the ec2 instance and you can access the web server this is the default page of the nginx web server and you can definitely change it i will show you how to change that Uh, but it is, that means that nginx web server is running so definitely you want to change the front end uh, as per your need right so how you want to uh, how you can do that so let's explore a bit the nginx uh, server configuration now if you open this vi etc nginx nginx.conf so these are the configuration for the nginx server so you can change it anything so here we are using index page as index.html or something you, if you want to use a different so you can also do use that change the root path of your uh, web content directory you can change it here so let's uh, copy this user share nginx html 
go to this directory and see what is written there, right? So let's open this index.html. So this is the body head uh, title page, right? So in the title, we have welcome to Nginx on the Amazon Linux AMI. So here it is, welcome to on the Amazon Linux AMI. So you can write, say, let's say, welcome to CTT demo, right? And let's save it. Now, if you refresh this page, you will see welcome to CTT demo Nginx on the Amazon Linux AMI. So in this way, you can run any web server like uh, Apache web server or even Nginx and, and host it on the AWS EC2 instance. So that's it guys. I hope you uh, like this video. It, this is the basic idea of how you can quickly create a EC2 instance and install a web server, whether it is Apache or Nginx, and you can run your website quickly. If you like this video, please share and appreciate it and do comment below so, so I can enhance my upcoming videos as well. A quick tip, so don't uh, forget to stop your EC2 instance, so otherwise it will consume your free trial limit. So click on action, instance state, stop. So that's it guys, we will see in our next CTT video. Thank you.